For roots dissection, microscope will be set at very low 1 to 4x, low 4 to 6x, high 8 to 16x, very high 16 to 32 x so basically when we discuss about the direct operating microscopes okay so uh, in the dental practice of course so they can be configured in such a way that the magnification will go up to the levels of uh, 40x okay you can zoom the uh, your field of interest up to 40 times and beyond also right so basically uh, there are three ranges of the magnification if we just categorize these so one is the low range magnification then we have the mid range magnification and finally we have high range magnification now in the low range magnification you can zoom up to eight times so the magnification uh, from 2.5 to 8x you can zoom it right so uh, now of course it is like 8 times or 2.5 times so basically uh, in dental operating we use this lower range for orientation of the surgical field okay you should know the uh, structures completely and you can do the wide inspections of the field of view so that is used for inspection of field of view so that you can know everything surrounding the area of interest then we have the mid range so in the mid range you'll have from 8x to 14x okay so 14 times magnification can be there and this is generally used for the surgical procedures in dentistry so it is used in surgical procedures Uh, what are the surgical procedures which are included? Yes, that is curatage. Uh, curatage of whatever infected tissue is there or granulation tissue is there, then uh, you can use 8 to 14 uh, type uh, like times magnification and that will have be helpful for doing the performing the procedure. Then you can use it for resection of root tip, resection of root tip. You can further use it for root and filling. So, if you want better magnification of our root and filling microsurgery, then also you can go with the 8 to 14 times magnification. Now, what is high range magnification? As we already told, that it can move, uh, like we can do it uh, from 14 times to uh, 40 times or 30 times, right? So, that is the basic range that is called as the high range, right? So, this is used for observing the finer details. If you want to see very finer details and you want to observe those, then you can use very high magnification and it is also used for documentation purposes as well, okay? So, these are the various ranges which we have already seen here. Now, for root resection, from the discussion, we can find out the mid range is going to work for root resection, right? And what is the range here? 8 to 14. So, uh, among these, you are going to have high that is 8 to 16 here, right? So, that is something uh, which can be considered here. See, there are a lot of classifications. So, you can not make a generalized classification, but you can find it out by using this particular uh, magnification range. So, 8 to 16 falls between 8 to 14. It is the nearest to this. So, the correct answer should be option 3 that is high 8 to 16 among these so yes these very low low are these all are subjective actually you don't have any objective thing but yes you can remember these ranges so that will help you to reach to the nearest option as well so yes answer is option 3 that is high 8 to 16 times of magnification will help in microsurgery using the direct operating microscope and it can be used for root resection also